My name is Ruby Quentin Davis, Senior Advisor for Learning and Impact at Peace Direct. For the past few years, I've been leading Peace Direct through a shift in our approach to monitoring, evaluation, and learning, MEL. At Peace Direct, we ask M and E for what? Our answer is simple and in four parts. We conduct m and &E to enable us learn from our locally led peace work, to advance the voices of our local partners, to show the impact, reach and sustainability of our collective work, and to help shift power and generate support for local peace building. To do this effectively, we need a different kind of mail, a transformative mail, Mail conducted in true collaboration with the local peace builder. Mail approaches that tackle the structural imbalances in the humanitarian development and peace building sector. Mail that is locally led and decolonial. Let's pause here. The locally led part was probably clear enough, right? But what about this more challenging and sometimes triggering word decolonial? That's the part about structural imbalances. And for us at Peace Direct, this means reassessing how we work with our local partners. We question whose approaches to learning are valued, the language used, and how stories are gathered and impact is measured. Decolonial mail in peace building requires the application of the knowledge systems of people in the places affected by conflict. It involves context relevant data collection and analytical tools that are inclusive and sustainable for those communities. So how did we actually build a locally led and decolonial mail? We started with the L, learning. We asked what we want to learn through our work and how we would go about such learning. So we developed a learning framework which outlines processes, principles, and practices that guide the way we learn and the outcomes we want to see. Within that, we develop learning questions, questions that our male can help us answer. For example, what are the best practices to support sustainable local peace building? Our framework also promotes a three-way learning among peace directs, our local peace builders, and various global actors, including funders, so that we can all change our approaches for the better. Together with our local partners, we went through five core processes, not linear, very interrelational and embodied processes aligned to the worldview of most of our partners. One, the ecosystem. We imagined the ideal ecosystem of peace building a decolonized system in which local communities are flourishing. They engage with both community and external organizations in equal partnerships and sustainable resourcing. Two, core values. We agreed on our guiding values and principles for the new male process, which are diversity, inclusion, co-production, locally led, decolonial, and multidimensional accountability. Three, learning questions. These formed the essence of the local male framework. Questions resonate with many cultures and practices. Indicators don't. Yes, let's start on an equal playing field. After all, we are decolonizing. Here, local partners determined the questions of importance to them and to their communities. These questions are aligned to the strategic vision of their organizations and the goals of their peace interventions. The questions create a space to hear stories, share contextual narratives, present facts and figures through local tools and methods. Our partners further drill down each question Partners first reflect and respond to their question. They explain how they arrived at that response and name the sources of data if it's safe to do so. They share a story from their work 
to illustrate the outcome. They then pause and ask, what are the implications of what we now know? What has changed? This question allows us to compare the outcome with the initial baseline information. Our partners drill down with several different follow-up questions as needed. The outcome of partner developed learning questions is local ownership of the mail process. Four, evidence building. What is the evidence that our peace interventions are working? Here, local groups are enabled to use a variety of tools and methods such as gathering stories to show what peace means to them. The outcome, mail is accessible and devoid of jargon. Five, everyday meal. Locally led and decolonial approaches demystify mail. Our partners gather everyday data based on sustained observation and analysis. Here, monitoring and evaluation is not one off. The outcome we see here is that mail is flexible, adaptable, and aligned with everyday lives. It is driven by the everyday quest to learn. So we found that if we put the L first, the M and E follow meaningfully. Here is our biggest lesson. The approaches we use as funders and INGOs can undermine peace. Rigid top-down mail processes overburden local peace builders and prevent them from reflecting on their work meaningfully. This means they are unable to share the real impact of the work through their lens and through their knowledge systems. We must do things differently if we are to transform communities and sustain peace. It's time to decolonize mail. <laughs>